Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, I had a good question from uh, one of the viewers out there it's asking how can you add items that are not menu items, items like account login buttons or promotional banner statements. Well, it's pretty easy. You can do it with custom links. And let's edit this menu. Let's put a, a login button here. I've got no accounts, but we'll just put a regular login button. So let's go to our menus. I've got mine open here. So you need to go to your dashboard, appearance, menus. Here's the menu I've got for the secondary nav bar at the moment. Obviously, I'm using the Divi theme here. It's absolutely awesome, keeps getting better. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get rid of a couple of these because I've got plenty of things on here. Let's just delete a few of these and add a few more. Now to add a login button, and whether it's an account login or WordPress admin login, you can do it the same way. Go to custom links down here, expand it. For the URL, copy the URL of your website Mine's on my local machine here. If anybody wants to learn how to build them on local machines, there's a link to that down below too. Um, so there's my URL right there. Yours might be www.mysite.com uh, www would be your URL. Simply paste it in here. Paste it in the box there. And at the end, you want to just put forward slash WP admin. Just as if you're logging into your website, which exactly is exactly what you're doing. And we want it to say log in or whatever you want to say for yours. Log in. And as you can see, that's added that to the menu. Uh, you can pretty much add anything using custom links images. Like, like he mentions banners here. You can put a search box in there. That's another real easy one. If you go to your pages or any page or a blog page that has a search form on it, the default page that comes with WordPress, the sample page has one on there. I'm going to shut this down right here. I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm simply going to right click and inspect to use the inspector tools. Here's our form. You know, that little search box is actually a form. I'm going to right click, say edit is HTML. I'm going to copy that HTML. Control C. Back to our menus. And the actual HTML that I've just copied, I'm going to put where it says link text. Now that's going to look kind of weird when we actually put it out there, but it will work. And in the URL, I'm going to put a hashtag because you have to have something in there when you add it. Now let's add it to the menu. There it is. And as I say, that looks kind of weird, but it's going to do what we want to do. And let's just open it up. And now it's been added. You can actually get rid of that hashtag so there's no link on it apart from the search form. Let's close that up. Let's save this now and see what we've got. The form is going to look generic, but you can you can customize it with custom CSS very easily. OK, where's our site? Let's go back to our site right here. Now when I do a refresh, there should be a login button here and a search form. I'm hoping it's not too long and won't spill off the page. Let's refresh. Yeah, it's gone a bit too long and spilled off the page. There's the search box right there. There's our login button. Let's make sure that's going to work. Well, we're already logged in. Let's open this in an incognito tab and try it that way. Control Shift N, new tab, paste our link in there. There it is. Let's try that login button again. And as you can see, it's brought us to the login panel. And you can customize this with CSS if you need to. Also, there's plenty of free plugins that will allow you to customize your login and put your, your personal logo there, which is a nice idea too. 
great. So let's go back and see if we can make this behave itself. I think I've got a fixed width on these buttons. So that's making that squish up like that. So I can get rid of that. And I'm in my theme customizer. I'm in the CSS that I wrote for these buttons here. And there's the width, so 100 pixels. If I change that to minimum width, now you won't need to do this unless you've styled your buttons the same as me. Uh, if I change that to minimum width instead of width, that should fix that problem. Oh, did it automatically. There we are, that looks a lot better. So you've got your search box there, you've got your login. That is how you add sort of non menu items to your secondary menu. And of course it works for the primary menu or any other menu you have on there, really easy to do. So I hope that answered your question and I hope that's been useful to you and you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.